Clark. Good evening, Jean Michel. Good evening, TK. Good evening, Okinawa. I'm with you in spirit for our rendezvous in space with the visitors. Happy 2001, everybody. The future is now. Let's go. 
and telescopes. We have to build an artificial world, in fact. And one day we'll be doing that and traveling out into the universe on voyages which may take months to the nearer planets, years to the closest stars, thousands of years to the more distant stars, and perhaps millions of years to other galaxies.
using in space would be much the same as on Earth. And when I say in space, I mean in a spaceship, because as everyone knows, in space, no one can hear you scream. In space, no one can hear you scream. extent on the gravitational field on a planet which has a much higher gravity than Earth. Obviously you couldn't have large animals that would be small and squat and perhaps with many legs. On the other hand, on planets with very low gravity, you would have very spindly, thin animals, very tall ones, and trees perhaps hundreds of feet, hundreds of meters high, maybe even kilometers high. The variations we'll find in space are almost infinite.
Space is unimaginably empty beyond human comprehension. The planets and stars separated by inconceivable distances. So one of the aspects of space is utter loneliness and of course absolute silence. The effect on the human psyche will be profound. Some people may even go mad because of the loneliness and silence. On the other hand, others may find themselves in that very emptiness. Space could be a meeting with other space travelers, human or alien. It could be revisiting a colony in space on a planet or a space station. 
Obviously, there'll be a great deal of love making in space, and some suggestion that it's already happened. Uh, making love under low gravity obviously has attractions, and how often is the weight of your partner sort of cut off your circulation?
because light travels at a finite speed, and so therefore anything further away is further and further back in time. The moon is only a second away, the planet's minutes away, the stars years away back in time.
we do have visitors from space, obviously they'll know much more about the universe than we do. So we'll ask them you know, what it's like out there. But I think the most important question we could ask them is, do you believe in God?